Hello and welcome to another Drupal tutorial. My name is Steve from WeaverMultimedia.com and today we're going to be um, continuing our beginning tutorial lessons on the Drupal content management system, the best content management system out there. Um, well yeah, well, let's get to it. Today we're going to create polls which are pretty cool content. You can um, uh, create like multiple questions for people to answer and get their opinion on. Um, Say if you're talking about which kind of ice cream do you like, uh, vanilla or chocolate, you can get that from anyone who wants to take your poll and, you know, comment on it. So it just adds a little bit more interactivity to your Drupal website. All right, the first thing we got to do is go to Site Building Modules. So go there and just make sure we have that enabled. It's going to be in the core group of modules. Uh, let's see poll right here and I have it enabled already so we're good to go so if you don't have that enabled enable that right there click that little box and hit save configuration and now I want to make sure that my permissions are okay for that um, poll um, module so I'm going to go to user management permissions here and make sure you have the admin module installed um, that's where you get this black bar. If you don't have that, get that. That's an awesome module. So want to make sure you have that as well. Uh, so we're going to go down here to polls. Um, here it is. And you can do a lot of different things with the polls. Um, basically, I just want people to be able to vote on polls. So I'm just going to enable those down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to hit save those permissions. All right, now we're able to create our poll. Uh, you'll find it under content management, create content, and poll. Once you have the module enabled, we're just going to click on that. And um, really easy, you know, just what question do you want to put in there? Um, I'm going to put uh, what type, or maybe what flavor of ice cream do you? And we're going to put the standard strawberry. That's my favorite. And chocolate. And you can actually give them a vote count, say, if you wanted to sort of hedge the bets in the beginning, hedge the vote count. Uh, we could put 10 here if we wanted to, but we're just going to start out with 0. And you can also add another choice uh, to your, your poll. I'm going to put vanilla down here. Okay, so that looks good. We got the standard choices. You can actually make this closed or active. We're going to keep it active because we want people to vote on it. And you can set a duration for how many days you want it. Say if you're doing a weekly poll, you can put one week, so we'll do that. Um, all the other settings you can do the same as you do as creating a page. You can make it part of your menu, actually, if you want the primary links up here and over here, or secondary links, wherever. You can put some meta tags in there for search engine type of stuff. Uh, you can put a URL path setting. I'm going to put um, poll flavors uh, ice cream. Okay, and you can have people comment on it as well. Say if you uh, wanted people to comment on that. And by default, it's on read right here for the poll. But I want to disable that because I don't want really people to poll. I just want them to vote on the poll. I don't want them to comment on it. And um, that's about it all, and we're going to hit save here and see what happens. So here's our poll page. Uh, everything went PG keen. It says we created it well. We got the green thingamabobber. But um, we have no way of people voting on this uh, poll unless they you know, get the link to this page. So what we want them to do is be able to access it. What we're going to do is do what we've done, been doing with the uh, blog and the news feeds over here, the feed aggregators, we're going to put it in the sidebar. So what we're going to do is go to site building blocks. And you'll be able to see as you get to the blocks that there is an option for the poll. Uh, most recent poll right here. And you can, as in other tutorials, drag it up or do what I like to do, which is just put it right into the sidebar. I want to put this on the right sidebar for now. And as you can see, it is here on the right sidebar. And we're going to hit Save Blocks. So here's our poll. When people come to our page, they're now going to be able to see our poll. 
and they're going to be able to vote on it as well. So uh, let's see. Which one do I like? Of course, strawberry. And I'll hit vo vote on it. And as you can see, it gives you a little graphical um, percentage-wise uh, vote count. And they're also able to see the older poll polls as well. That's by default. But we're going to go back into our content management content. And we're going to go back to that poll. So we're going to click uh, right on that poll. What flavor ice cream do you like? And as you can see, it gives you a, a graphical representation as well. You can also cancel your vote if you're an admin. Um, you can also do that, set that in permissions as well, that people, unidentified users or anonymous users, can cancel their vote as well if you set that permission. You can also look at the votes here up in the tabs, see who voted on what. Um, then you can, you know, the same, edit it as well. And if you don't want it to be there anymore, uh, the poll on your sidebar, just close it down. Or you can just delete it from your content. But basically, in a nutshell, that's how you do it. Um, we've got a poll going here. It looks awesome. Um, and uh, that's all I wanted to show you for today. Happy poll creating here on your Drupal CMS content management system, the best content management system out there. Uh, my name is Steve for WeaverMultimedia.com. Stay tuned for my next tutorial.